Alright, this card trick goes by a lot of different names, so I'm just going to perform it and then we're going to talk about how the trick is done. Uh, typically, there is an audience member that's required for this trick, but for the purposes of this demonstration, we're just going to pretend there's an audience member. So, what the audience member is asked to do is think of any card, any card they want to, um, just from a regular standard playing card deck. And then, after thinking of the card, they tell the magician, they tell you what card they were thinking of. So let's say they were thinking of the Six of Diamonds, which, random card, okay, Six of Diamonds. So they told you Six of Diamonds. Let's open up the deck. And let's quickly sort of look through the deck. Oh, wait a second. There's a card here that is face down in a deck of face-up cards. What is it? Could it be? <gasps> it's the Six of Diamonds! It's the one that you selected. So the one card that you selected is the one card that is upside down in an entire deck of cards. Pretty cool, huh? And it all came from your head, or the head of the participant, the head of the spectator. And that is the trick. And it can be done, and it can be repeated again and again and again and again and again, infinite number of times. This is a rigged deck of cards, which might be pretty obvious, just given the nature of the trick. But uh, the most common name for this particular deck of rigged cards is called the invisible deck. And the way that it works is as follows. So we've got this deck of cards, which is all great, but then we turn it around and we see that the other side also has cards. Now, interestingly enough, this side, all of the cards are odd, and this side, all of the cards are even. I know I'm showing them upside down here to you, but they're all going to be even. And, you know, Jack, Queen, King, they each have values. So, so the other part of this trick in terms of the gimmick is the cards themselves. The cards are gimmicks. So we take this top card, we think that it might be a Jack, but if we push it a little bit and separate it, we notice that it's actually two cards. So handling it makes it appear as though it's one card. We got on this side, we've got one card, other side, we got another card, but really there are two cards. And the reason this is possible is because the backs of each of the cards of the invisible deck are rough. So when you put two backs together, it's much harder or it's, it's easier to keep them together, except if you're very light in your touch, then they move. But if you're not light in your touch, they won't move. And this is obviously not the case if there are two unroughed sides that are touched, it doesn't matter. So the setup of the deck, little bit complicated. Um, you can create your own invisible deck, and we're going to talk about how to do that probably in a later video. But as of right now, that's how the trick is done. Oh, one, one more thing. When they say, okay, let's say that they want, they, they had chosen the jack. If they said, okay, well, I chose the jack of diamonds. So the jack is going to be an odd number because jack represents 11. So how do we get their card to be the card that's upside down? Well, since jack is odd, we want to open up it to the even side. And the even side has a 2. So the number at the top here, and here's part of the, the mathematical secret, the number has to add up to 13. So if jack is 11, because they chose, they chose the, the, the jack of, what do we say, jack of diamonds. They chose jack of diamonds. So 11 plus 2 is 13. So they must, the other card must be 2. And then diamonds, just for the sake of this trick, is always paired with clubs. So if they say diamonds, you know that you're looking for a club. So once on the other side of the deck, you find the 2, you separate it, you know, because it added the 13, and because the, I guess, opposite of a club is a diamond, we've got what they chose, which is the Jack of Diamonds. And that is how the basic routine of the invisible deck is performed.